So, you know, Greg, so, so often people come to us and they go, I want to start a makerspace. I need to know what to buy. That's their first thought. Mm. What? They don't need to buy anything Not to start necessarily. With, Most of it may already be in your classrooms. Absolutely. What have we got here? Paddle pop sticks. What can you do with them? Lots of things. Yeah. But you need a way to put them together. Ooh, oh my gosh. Is this getting our students thinking? What sort of things can we use to make these things Ooh. stick Ooh. together? We've got blue some blue tack, tack, it's simple. Glue. We've got modelling clay. Okay. We've got lots and lots of lots stuff. Lots of things to be able to put them together Absolutely. and we can create structures, Prototype. anything we want. Anything Absolutely. we want. Absolutely, create a solution. This is sounding like problem-based learning. And you learning, can combine them with other on. things, can't Ooh, you? elastic bands. Exactly. And what about if we want to add a little bit of tech in there, but we don't want to connect a computer just yet. What could okay. you start with? Well, what have we got? Ooh, what about a queen battery? And a LED. 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 Light-emitting diode. Absolutely. And what can we do with that? Here, give ah, me that. Oh, you know what I'm envisaging right. here? I think I've seen these online. You can actually create these cool little bugs and insects, which have got like those beady eyes. I can turn that on. Yes, fantastic. Pipe cleaner craft. If I turn it around, does it still That's work? That's what's going on. Oh my gosh, it's still lesson in circuits as well. Doesn't work. There must be one positive Ooh. and one negative, and that's the way it works. Has to be around the right way. There's some research like to that. do, guys. Yes. Figure it out. Absolutely. I mean, I can I can see some really awesome Christmas and Mother's Day and Father's Day cards happening oh, hang on, here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. That would be one. super. You can Ooh. have a little pin. Oh, I'm getting a badge. There we go. Nice. Right, okay. I need some bling. Can never have enough bling. But that we need to totally stick it together. Case. So let's put some modelling clay. There Will we that go. Work? We could it's still conductive, that. isn't it? Fantastic. We'll probably have a problem now. Okay, there we go. Oh gosh, you, you go. are a creator. Stick Fabulous. Stick it in your pocket. Ooh, yeah. right now look, you know, we want to stay away a little bit Ooh. from tech. Have you heard of these before? No, what are they called? They're called Makey Do's. And there's one of many different things you can use to join things like cardboard together. They're really awesome. So you've got things like a, you know, a cardboard saw. Don't all kids love to get creative? You know, they're not sharp. So they cut they your cardboard. They do not get a your cardboard, nice. which is really, really awesome. And so these little joiners. Yes, okay. it's a hinge, a hinge on the back guys, which is really cool. Hinge on the back of my... Photo frame. Photo frame. Okay. With a very cool window. I don't know why you've got a window there. It's got something to do with the environment, I can tell you. It's powering itself. I don't know what it's going to power it to do, but this is all about, you know, creating okay. a solution. You're to being something very creative. I don't into. know whether it's going to work. But. Absolutely. <laughs> and you're showing how they go together yeah, over just here, aren't you? together and then you can pull it apart. Ooh, like a zip tie that can come apart. I really Great. like and that. We can reuse it Reusable, over and over. Love absolutely. It. Very cute. Now, let's take it another step and we want to connect a little bit of tech to it. Get a little bit techy. Yeah. Well, we've got this little gadget here, Ooh. which is basically a keyboard and mouse oh, replacement. You plug it in. You plug, plug it into in. your computer yep. and then hook these up. We can use virtually anything so as the conductor. So what are we introducing to the kids here? Circuits? Oh my gosh. Excellent. Again, absolutely. So they be able bad. to work out what makes this turn on. Yeah. But besides using things like modelling clay. Ooh, what else could you put into it? Fruit. Oh, I like it. The banana keyboard. Anything that's conductive. I've seen these before. Work it through. It's Amazing. really, really clever. Make musical really like instruments, that. all sorts of weird things. So Lots here, of fun. We're just using the tech as the engager, aren't we? And exactly. we're teaching circuits. Oh, fantastic. That's brilliant. I love these coloured bricks, though. What's this these all about? Good. Connector bricks. Ooh. Well, they've Tell me about them. They've got little circuitry components. Oh. So, for example, we've yeah. got a battery here and it oh, just so snaps purple together. Is power. So, watch that. Just a magnet. I nice like and it. easy. No soldering. Yeah. And then I can turn it on. Oh, so purple's power, pink's like a, a switch. Yep. And then we've got, or an input, no, yeah, an input. And green's output. And green's an output. Green's oh, output. I like it. You know what? Makes I've got sense. a green thing here. I was wondering what to do with it before. Yeah. Now, it is a bit warm in here. Whew. What can we do with this? I don't know, let's see. I know, you know what's going to happen, don't you? It's going to it's gonna start blowing. You can tell how much stuff I've got in yeah, my hair. It can only it go together blow. one way. There we go. It's your fan Woo, there it's you go. going. You're right. It's not okay. blowing my cooling hair. Off but nevertheless, there? I am cooling You're off You're going to be here, here. cooling Very nice. For a long time. Oh, and it just falls apart. What the most awesome prototyping solution that is Very there, good. Greg? And there are all sorts of weird things in there. These are Big just kits. amazing things to get started when you've got a lot of teachers and students who are a little bit scared of technology. You don't Starts even have to incorporate any technology. Exactly. Get them, get them familiar with this idea of experimenting, creating, of failing, yeah. of succeeding, and having so much fun while doing it in the process. Go out there, go searching in that storeroom, find what you've already got, and start your maker space today. And let the kids have some fun making. Absolutely.